Hey there, how you doing? Tim Warner here. I took the AB900 exam in beta last night, and I want to give you my candid, NDA-friendly review. Let's do this. What is the AB900? Well, the certification is part of Microsoft's associate level. These are the 900 series exams, and it's important to know that they're meant for beginners to the technology. So by the title of this exam, Copilot and Agent Administration Fundamentals, you're thinking, okay, a lot of generative AI, right? That's the idea anyway. And you don't have to be an engineer to qualify for these 900 series credentials. They're intentionally priced lower than the associate and expert level exams, and they're certainly a lot easier. The audience here is the Microsoft 365 admin. So those who are concerned with access management, licensing, reporting, with a bent towards generative AI. This is M365 Copilot chat, M365 Copilot in your office applications like Teams and Excel and so forth. It even spans into Microsoft Defender and certainly Purview. In fact, that's a very important point. I would say that AB900 is mostly about Purview, Microsoft Purview, which is part of the larger Azure cloud platform that deals mainly with data protection, data privacy, data searchability in a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud context. So I would say it's mostly M365 and Purview administration with a splash of Copilot. Now, admittedly, I took the exam when it was in a pre-release form, beta, and the reason why Microsoft has beta is so they can fine-tune the questions. I would imagine that when the exam goes generally available, it may be more meaty with the co-pilot and the agent stuff. Who knows? We'll see. What was the exam delivery experience like? Well, Microsoft uses Pearson View, and I took the exam at home on my Mac OS laptop. The best advice I have for you is to perfect your exam environment. Definitely do a pre-flight check of your system, a system check. Believe me, Pearson View can be almost obnoxious about reminding you. You want to put in that time and effort to make sure that your testing environment is good so you don't have to deal with a proctor. That is a worst-case scenario. Fortunately, I took the exam in my bedroom and cleared off my dresser and sat in front of it, and I was good. I didn't even deal with the proctor. They released the exam instantaneously. It was really glorious. I wish that happened more often. About the exam specifically, AB900 was 60 minutes for approximately 60 questions. Now, when you take a beta version of an exam, you generally get more questions. This is NDA friendly, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what's on the exam, but you can expect 50-odd questions for an exam like this. And the 900 series fundamentals exams normally do weigh in at about 60 minutes. So it's not particularly time intensive. And remember, the fundamentals level means that it's entry level. So it's not like AZ-104, the Azure Administrator Associate, which is, in my opinion is the most difficult of all Microsoft CERT exams. Accordingly, another hallmark of the fundamentals exams is that you'll have mostly multiple choice, single answer, multiple choice, multiple answer, multiple choice, with basic interactive items, don't expect case studies or performance-based labs because the 900 exams aren't supposed to be too technical as far as that goes. That having been said, you can expect a lot of active screen items with a lot of screenshot UI where you have to figure out where to go. As far as a good practice test instrument, I always recommend Measure Up. I don't think they've got a product yet for AB900, but I'll bet they're working on one. The pass mark for AB900 is the same as for all Microsoft exams, 700 on a 1000 scale. Now, what surprises did I find? One was, although I was really bummed to see licensing prominent, prominent one surprise is that I was found that the questions dealing with licensing were surprisingly well done. When I see licensing on a Microsoft exam study guide, I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? You're really reaching for content. But no, I thought they did a pretty good job because it's more about what can you do or not do with or without a co-pilot license as opposed to like which SKU do you have to be on to unlock that feature. Now, unfortunately, AB900 has plenty of that kind of trivia where you have to know which administration portal to go to for what task or what feature is called in Azure, that can be pretty annoying. But I thought the licensing coverage was actually quite reflective of real world practice. There's lots and lots of click path stuff where you have to know your way around the portals. If you've worked with Microsoft Tech for a while, you know that Microsoft has created their own circles of hell with management portals. And it's kind of a bummer 
that we're forced to know which portal goes with which. But I would strongly say you master the M365 admin portal, the Defender portal, security.microsoft.com, absolutely the purview portal, and to also know your way around Azure Resource Manager. Really, I believe, seems like, this is just my speculation, that MS Learn needed to scrape the barrel because Gen AI is such a rapidly evolving tech. They repurposed a lot of MS 900. That's the general ground level M365 admin exam. And they used those questions as filler here, because I would say that if you're not good with MS 900 equivalent knowledge, you probably won't pass AB 900. All right. So therefore, make sure you know before you take this AB 900 exam that you know your way around the admin portals, particularly the M365 portals with licensing and enablement, all about checking access in things like SharePoint and Teams, know about the Defender portal and what kind of reports you can pull in there versus the M365 portal. Know the major touch points and capabilities of purview, digital rights management versus compliance and these sort of things. You do have to know that level of trivia. I would say that your best study groundwork would be an MS 900 and AZ 900. I don't know if you'd not pass the exam if you didn't have AZ 900, but do expect some questions that deal with Azure specific capabilities. I mean, it's mentioned right on the AB 900 guide about Entra identity, about conditional access policies, privileged identity management. There's quite a bit of security and data security with a smidge of how that relates to Copilot, almost like Copilot is an afterthought. And don't get me wrong, it's critical for an M365 administrator to understand exactly what Copilot can or can't do within Microsoft Graph and throughout the M365 ecosystem. So therefore, you should also know about the data controls and the licensing rules. Copilot pay as you go versus the pre, you know the monthly charge. Um, the specific names of the controls that you have in SharePoint Advanced and Copilot and M365, there is that level of granularity to the exam. The good news is that you can master that if you've got a trial, which is a best case scenario, and if you'd go through the MS Learn free self-paced training. That's actually very reflective of what's on the exam. Now, of course, the centerpiece of the cert by its title, again, it's called Copilot and Agent Administration fundamentals. You're thinking, Tim, you've mentioned Purview all over the place. You've mentioned Azure Resource Manager all over the place. You've mentioned M365. What about Copilot itself? And what is, what's the deal with agents? Do we have to know about Microsoft Foundry? Do we have to know about Copilot Studio? I don't think so, at least not this point. The ground is so soft. Microsoft is changing product names, which they always do, but the UI of these tools is changing on a daily basis. And I would imagine MS Learn doesn't want to chase its tail too, too much. So because of the volatility of the tech, it looks like they threaded the needle trying to focus on the stuff that's least likely to change, like the basic mechanics of interacting with Copilot in your apps, like in Excel, for example, like whether you'd want to use the Python analysis engine or not. Basic stuff about the agent gallery and using pre-built agents like the analyst and the researcher definitely know about those, but it's very, very Thin, very, very thin. And I know it's a 900 level exam, but it still feels almost like an afterthought. Uh, it's much more of an MS 900, AZ 900 flavor on this test. And again, I think that's reflective of two things. We are beta, so subject to change. And two, the co-pilot and agent world is just so intensely volatile. All right. So to sum up exam prep, I like to focus on three interdependent pillars. Theory, practice, and review. For your theory, go to the MS Learn self guided training. If you look up the AB 900 exam page at MS Learn, it's linked right there. There's one course on M365 admin and another one on Copilot and Agent admin. Those are really the best exam prep in terms of theory, definitely. Practice, hands on, although you don't. Well, I don't want to say you don't need it for the exam, but you kind of do because you're asked such detailed questions about clicky click paths and to which portal. So if you can light up an Azure free trial that'll give you purview and to an extent Defender, an M365 trial, 
that's going to be really important. You want a trial because you need to be a global administrator so you can go behind the scenes and you can look at things like enablement and you definitely need to master the different reports that you can generate for things like who's using Copilot, what data Copilot can see, how you customize access to SharePoint and report on it and all of that kind of stuff. Heavily tested on the exam. For practice exams, you want to strictly avoid brain dumps and go with legitimate practice test instruments. You can't go wrong with MeasureUp. They are my BFFs. So with that, I hope you found this review handy. Follow me on LinkedIn, Tim Warner. Follow me on this channel, and I hope to see you again. All the best and happy studying to you.